Hello, people of the internet. It has been quite a while. And look, you know, I'll be honest with you, it's been a bit dry lately. I haven't been booking shit. Casting directors, I'm not saying it's on you, but if you see me out in these streets selling ass for loose pocket change, hey, hey, don't ever say David Sell is above a job. You know, get out in these streets and put these lips to work. <laughs> Nah, I don't like these jokes, they hurt. <clears throat> you know, for those of you out there who do not act or have never auditioned before, and there's been a lot of questions about what the process is like, auditioning is like, you know, hot swamp ass, it sucks. Even when 99% of auditions now are self-tape at home, you just, it's hard because you're sitting at home, you're second guessing all your choices, and the moment that you click send, why I do this to myself, huh? Why I do this? I love YouTube, but you know, sometimes the challenge is great, guys. I love and with the whole auditioning thing, I get it. I understand. I'm not really putting myself out there 100%. If anything else, you know, Hollywood might be getting like 15% of what I can do because I've spread my time up with so many different projects, specifically passion projects that I really, really enjoy. So, you, you know, you miss all the shots you don't take, right? You, you fish without... If an eagle comes and it lands in your mouth, what? Well, chicken! What do you want from me? I don't but my main focus right now, especially for this year, is building up this matcha store. Junbi, me and Joe and Greg, our buddy Greg, we're going to open up a matcha store out in Hawaii, Oahu, Waikiki specifically. Junbi Matcha, it's one of those passion projects we've been working on for like a year and a half. Junbi Matcha to me is more than just like a passion project. It's really kind of carving a, a, a big chunk in space out of my legacy. And you know, when I say things like legacy, I know a lot of people are like, oh, what does that mean, bro? What do you mean legacy? Hey, listen, this right here, that's my nutsack, suck it. Everything nowadays, even from your favorite creators, is all about a paycheck, which is not a bad thing. But because I've never chased a paycheck, and uh, I've always chased like this idea of being able to create and live life the way that I want to, money is a hard factor of motivation for me. It doesn't really get me up and going. I need money, like I just said, your boy about to uh, uh. <laughs> Jumbi Matcha is, you know, it's a way for us to make high quality matcha accessible to people. That's essentially what the brand is about. Fun drinks, but the quality that you get out of the stuff is great. And the same thing with Secret Society. This is the other passion project that I have. By the way, what you think about the spring line shirts, baby? We going vintage hues, ooh. Check out the shorts. Yeah, you like that? You like them cakes, bitch? And listen, it hasn't been completely dry in the last couple of years. I got to do an indie film. All right, stand around watching like this goddamn music show. Is that my mocha choker king sitting in a regular ass chair? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just feeling generous today, gentlemen. No, That's it. Yeah. It's then. Why the payday loan? What they they called you? Asked us a bunch of weird questions too, like the shape of your nipples. I said Africa. I kept it real safe. I got to fulfill my dream of being on a cooking show that got picked up on Netflix. It will be fabulous. And it'll be delicious and a little awkward. Pow! Oh, <laughs> pow! Oh, boom! And I'm doing a podcast with the homie Tim. Dudes behind the foods, baby. It's all good. So I'm definitely counting my blessings. I'm just trying to figure out right now in the acting world, every time I go for a role for a loud, fat Asian guy, who the f is taking my roles? What, what other, f who, who's louder and fatter and more Asian than me? Who, who's taking my guy, who, who? Scarlett Johansson, you sexy Asian bitch. One of the worst feelings on earth is when you have this role that you really fucking like. You kill the audition, you get callbacks. The role is for somebody between the age of 30 to 35. They're Korean, they're six feet tall, they, they love matcha. And then you find out your role is taken by Scarlett Johansson, you sexy Asian bitch. What, what, what do you want from me, huh? That's, that's, that's about it. Well, guess what? I, I just have to get to work. You motherfuckers, wait till I get into acting. Dude, when I'm 100%, I'm snatching up all your roles. There's gonna be a role for a blonde, blue-eyed, fat-ass white girl, and I'm taking it. But anyways, let's get this day started. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys quickly to one of my favorite coffee shops in LA. Great. Okay, so I know I said I was going to go get coffee, but I'm not, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll show you the, the favorite coffee spot next time. I actually forgot I have an order to pick up. So today is a very, very special, special day, my friends. I am picking up a whole 
smoked yellowtail from Adam Perry Lang. Now, if you don't know who Adam Perry Lang is, I've talked about him multiple times on the podcast. If you've, you know, if you're following my Instagram, you'll see that I've posted his lovely, lovely barbecue. He is probably, I say to me, he's more than just a chef. He's somebody who actually inspires me. And everybody who has gone to Adam Perry Lang that has seen my stories or have heard me talk about him, I'm pretty sure none of you have been disappointed. And listen, let me tell you something. Your boy... <laughs> Has a boat. Uh, Chef, you're moving. You're not going to be at the Pasadena spot anymore. Sadly, no. I love these Pasadena. It's been fantastic for me. But we're going to be moving to Torrance. So we're going to the Strand Brewery. It's off of Dominguez Street. I don't know the exact address, but I'll be posting on my Instagram at Adam Perry Lang. And um, yeah, we're really excited. I'm actually, it's going to be 2.0 because I'm bringing my tractor trailer barbecue. I'm, I have all these fire pits coming and it's going to be it's gonna be mega. You know, we've actually known each other for quite a while now. Yeah. We're DM DMing each other All every time. now and then, but yeah. like I said, every time you cook, anything that you open up, I'm always there. You like I, I really do appreciate specifically all like the effort and time that you put into your food. Thank I think uh, food has become really popular, but I think a lot of the times people are forgetting about the craft. I appreciate, I mean, for me, having you in, I mean, you are someone who truly appreciates fine food. Hey, take care, bud. You are someone who really, truly appreciates fine food. and. You know, for me, feeding you, you have so much appreciation for it. I mean, you are like, you're like perfect. You're like the reason why I like to cook. I like to share, I like to give, and, you know, put my effort into it, so, so. Well, Chef, thank you so much. Thanks, my brother. I can't wait to see you in Torrance. We are going to try the hamachi. Whoa! Right here. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Listen, I'm just going to end the video here. If you guys are going to be out in Torrance, the dates will be there. He's moving over to Torrance and he's going to be there for three months with the brewery. Check it out. I'll see y'all next time. But this right here, 